Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Voss, the Piltover Enforcer. Punch first. Ask questions while punching. Vi is a melee fighter who relies on devastating punches to break through her competition and take them down. With her high mobility, damage, and initiation, Vi is great at leading the charge in battle or mopping up fights at the end. Vi's passive is Blast Shield. When any of her activated abilities hit an enemy, Vi gets a shield for a few seconds based upon her maximum health. Blast Shield has a moderate cooldown before it can be triggered again. Vault Breaker is a charged ability. When first cast, Vi slows down and charges up the range and damage. On the second cast, Vi dashes forward, damaging and knocking back all enemies she hits. If Vi collides with an enemy champion, she will stop. I recommend one point in Vault Breaker early and masking it by level 13 for its great damage output and mobility. With Denting Blows, every third attack on the same target deals bonus damage based upon her target's maximum health, shreds some of its armor, and grants Vi bonus attack speed for a few seconds. Both Basic Attacks and Vault Breaker apply stacks of Denting Blows. I recommend taking Denting Blows at level 1 when jungling, but generally maxing at last. Excessive Force causes Vi's next basic attack to deal bonus damage to her target as well as all enemies in a cone behind it. Vi can store up to two charges of Excessive Force to be used one after the other. I recommend taking Excessive Force at level 1 when laning and always maxing it by level 9 in order to store charges more quickly. Assault and Battery is Vi's ultimate. When activated, she dashes to target enemy champion, rendering her immune to crowd control while knocking aside and damaging enemies she collides with on the way. Once Vi reaches her target, she damages and knocks it into the air before slamming it back to the ground. While it can be difficult to match up against ranged champions, remember that excessive force can often reach your opponents. Find an angle where a minion is squarely between you and your opponent and hit excessive force for some quick harass. Another way to wear your opponents down is to wait in the brush and charge a Vault Breaker when they get near. Needily heads up to plant Bushwhack, but a quick combination of Vault Breaker into a basic attack and excessive force makes her regret that decision. This combo gets even scarier once you learn Denting Blows. Though Needily dodges Vault Breaker, Vi puts herself in front of Needily's exit. Remember that excessive force will reset your attack timer, so always activate it immediately after a basic attack to help trigger Denting Blows. Putting this all together, watch as Vi charges Vault Breaker into a basic attack and excessive force, setting up Needly for an easy kill once Master Yi comes to gank. Getting access to your ultimate, Assault and Battery, opens even more doors. When fighting against a champion with crowd control, remember that Vi's ultimate renders her immune to these effects. As Swain casts Never Move, Assault and Battery charges straight through, allowing Vi to snag a kill in a one-on-one -on -one duel without stopping. You'll often want to quickly clear minion waves to roam around the map or head home. To do this, charge Vault Breaker and let the minions pile up, then plow through them and turn for excessive force. With all the minions dead, feel free to head wherever you'd like. If you ever find a key opponent out of position, don't hesitate to charge right in. Vi finds Caitlyn in a dangerous spot, singling her out with Assault and Battery. With her team's help, she turns it into a quick kill before charging in for more. Without the key damage dealer left for the opposition, Vi's team makes quick work of Nunu and Elise for a quick 3-0 fight. While Vi normally needs all her abilities for damage to take down opponents by herself, she can rely on teammates for that role and instead use them for mobility. As Master Yi chases in on Needly, she charges Vault Breaker to close the distance and then lands Assault and Battery so he can catch up. At this point, Vi simply tanks the turret damage and chases in on Needly, netting a kill through her team's combined efforts. Vi's goal in a team fight should be to seek out and destroy the most important targets first. She charges in on Swain with Vault Breaker, brings him low with excessive force and denting blows, and creates the first kill of the fight. Immediately after, she targets Caitlyn with Assault and Battery, taking her out even despite Flash. From here, a basic attack, excessive force, and Vault Breaker set up her team for an ace onto Elise. I recommend building Vi with a primary focus on physical damage output, while splashing in some added durability when convenient. Try Armor Penetration Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs, and Attack Damage Quintessences. Take 21-9-0 Masteries, focusing on all the physical damage Masteries in Offense, plus bonus Armor and Health in Defense. I recommend Ignite and Ghost or Flash for Summoner Spells, allowing you to dive into the battle and deal as much damage as possible. Thanks for tuning in to the Vi Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video.